What's going on, everybody? We are back. It's your friend Will with my little buddy Ichi here, and we are jumping back into traditional constructed. That's right. This is the memory lapse. Almost forgot to say it. Playing Teamer Nexus, we started off two one in this series. Kind of maybe misplayed ourselves. No, yeah, kind of. We could have mulliganed better. Ichi, what's wrong with your jacket? It's cold, cold, cold. It's still here in Brooklyn, so Ichi's wearing his coat even inside because he's dramatic. All right, this is a keeper. The double search is kind of a bummer, but go spiral into reclamation. It's pretty good. <clears throat> hmm, all right. So our opponent is on Mortify Colors, which leaves us a little scared. But they're also playing creatures, which is where we want to be. Why don't you sit, buddy, huh? Ooh. <clears throat> so they're going to try to bring the beat down here. Pop us for one. Come on. Come on. Lay down. Lay down. That's it. Yeah, I know. I just got home, so he's extra clingy. It's okay, bud. So we're probably gonna take this swing for five. Play search next turn. So we take this swing for five, we go to 14. Next turn we're facing down five plus four. So nine, so we're still good, even if they have a follow up like two, two here. All right. I guess we can hit a Nexus here and take another turn. So yeah, we are hoping to chill or search into a Nexus. Hitting a draw spell next turn would be good too. Right. Let's reduce some damages. Interesting choice. Does that imply they have a second one? Three, four, five, plus five is ten, so we're still live here. Although if they have land drop, they can pump and kill us. So we could be dead here. We kind of bricked pretty hard. Drew a lot of land. This is a 26 land deck, but these gross spirals just hit us into more land. Okay. Yeah, so if they do hit land here, we're dead. <clears throat> but then we'll go sideboard and bring in some fogs. This matchup will get even better. And hopefully we'll be a little less card dead. Uh, that kills us, right? Oh yeah, that kills us. So the Johnny Bride probably makes it tick up a couple times. Yeah. 
no need to make them actually swing. Yeah, so I think we were just one reasonable draw away from being fine there. So let's just continue to do what we've been doing. Take out a precog. Take out an anticipate. Maybe take out a nexus. Maybe we don't want to get like our hand clogged with nexuses and keep the third expansion. And just bring in the extra um, fogs because they're more or less more time walks. Mirari Conjecture would be an interesting one to bring in to help us loop fogs. Though we can't really take advantage of the twin casting turn that well. I mean, that's just a random card I put into the sideboard, so it's not surprising we haven't brought it in because I didn't, wasn't really thinking about what we would want to achieve with it. Buddy, you gotta relax. Right, we'll take the play here. We have a Nexus. Back up search in case they mortify us. We'll use that to dig. Hmm. Let's take another chill and hope we find land on top. I guess at this point we will start cycling chills just to fill the graveyard and help us keep making land drops. Preventing four is not like really exciting, but we're trying to get to Nexus, we're trying to flip search before they can get into Mortify range with it. Still just trying to power out a search here. All right, so this is a nice follow-up to chill if we hit land. So we can prevent six more damage here. Do not want it to use up. It almost tapped down both our green sources and we would not have been able to spiral. Yuck. So if we library here, we have six, which means we can float two. So yeah, that lets us play a Nexus. And then we can Nexus into Precog. So Precog lets us see six, so that's better than Ascanta. Reset our stop. We know we don't want these. Anticipate and grow spiral. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So I guess we anticipate, hope we hit Nexus here. Don't. So all's not lost. <laughs> Two. They pump these. So we need to find a fog. So the question is, do we just like us Kanta? I guess we just Kanta here. With the mana we floated. Unfortunately, we have to take the root snare. That incidental life loss is a little annoying. And we bought a Nexus, which is not good. We are still live in this game. We bought him a Nexus and another root snare, which is not good. So we'll anticipate end of turn. We're just looking to see the maximum number of cards. Ooh, okay, go say hi. So we'll enter this tap, set the stop in our end step. I guess we're going to Nexus this turn and use Ascanta in the second main phase. Or maybe even do a small explosion here because we want to reshuffle that second Nexus at the bottom back into the deck. How much could we explosion for here? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one is ten. So we can explosion for six. Drawing six is probably better than just activating the Escanta. So let's do that. It also, I think, makes us live to kill them next turn. With a full blooded explosion. Nexus should seal it. So now we have a backup reclamation in case they are holding a Mortify, though I think they would have used it already. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, ooh, can we kill them from here? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 times 2 is 22, plus the 5 is 26. So that should be good enough to kill them. So let's just proceed to our end step. Stack the triggers. Float mana in our end step, just like Richard Garfield intended. Just add it all here and then count it up. So, yeah, so 15 plus 12 is 27. So we can do it for 23.
give our finger a workout. And heck, we can even draw. Alright, let's take it to game three. We did the thing, we found the root snare. We untapped our lands, it was good. Let's see. Oh, so I think we'll keep it as is. So let's see, our opponent's taking a while to sideboard now. They probably feel like that game was stolen from them, and that's what this deck does though. It steals the games back. Hmm. Ooh, double root snare and anticipate. I think we're in the market to keep this hand. That little like leftover stop from last game. It's weird how it'll carry over between games, but it won't carry over between turns. Ooh, this is pretty aggressive, so this is gonna grow. So it looks like we want to anticipate this turn. Oh, I have to imagine a root snare is going, though. Maybe they'll take Wilderness Reclamation here. But I'm not going to anticipate in response to this. Yeah, this is quite the hand for them to digest. So we can go digging for another Reclamation or a land, whatever looks good here. Hmm. Chill, I guess. No, this is kind of uncomfortable. But we do need to ramp ourselves. Because it looks like we may be in a situation where we're not going to draw land next turn. Hmm. Yeah, this is looking bad. The chill does not line up well against the pride mate version of this deck because this thing grows. So they're going to plus them. So this is going to go to seven. This is going to go to three. So that right there is ten. We really can't afford to miss land drop. Dude, this chill is not getting any better. I almost wonder if we're supposed to like grow a spiral here and try to hit land. Brick. Oh, this is going to be a sad way to lose this one. I don't think this was a mulligan, but damn, this, this hand got a lot worse when we missed two land drops. Or I actually only missed one land drop. But we're on the draw, and missing one land drop is probably enough against this deck, kind of no matter what you're playing, if you're at all trying to uh, control the game. So these these are going to be new to them. I'm sh for sure they take one of the snares here. I 
think they have to take one of the snares here. It effectively cuts one turn off their clock. Wow. Don't think that was right. I think they'll still win, but I don't think that was right. Is it at all possible that Chill's gonna do anything here? Seven, ten, they plus, where are they plusing? So this would be two, three, two, this would be two plus one is three plus five. So that's actually eight. So we get a chance to use our chill here. Four, 11, 14, minus six is eight. If they're gonna give it to us, we'll take it. Doesn't help us. They're really teasing us here because these misplays aren't giving us extra turns. <laughs> Interesting one to have in. So we're going to need to flip search here. We have one more root snare in the deck. It looks like this is a job for digging six. And we need to find exactly root snare. Hmm. Unfortunately, I think we have to bottom all of these to give us the most chances to hit. Hey, we hit one. Now, how good is hitting that, though? If we cannot win, maybe we had to be double extra greedy and uh, keep the Wilderness Reclamation to give us an outlet to win next turn. One. Yeah, we'd only have five left over, so we can't. Nexus. Yeah, this is another relevant ability. But I think they got us. They got us fair and square. Yeah, we only have six. That's a tough end of the series. I really wish I had recorded the 5-0 run with this deck because we we lost to a pretty favorable matchup here, though bringing in the duresses is nice. I think they duress the wrong things and they could have won that game a lot earlier um, or a lot more certainly with a lot more certainty. Uh, and then we punted that game where we kept the all check land hand against our opponent mulligan to five, thinking that they're on five, how fast can their draw be? And of course they just had an insanely fast draw. And we bricked uh, 
we basically only drew check land. So if you saw part one of this series, you know. So really disappointing to, to bring only a 2-2 performance. Obviously we break even, which is fine, but I really wanted to sh showcase the deck. So um, I'll post below the link to the VOD where you can see the 5-0 run on, on Twitch. It's uh, It was really fun. Unfortunately, I wasn't doing audio for it. I was just um, playing music. So parts of the video are are muted through Twitch's like policies, which are more generous than YouTube's. I think only half the music's muted. So if you're up for some music and for some cool, like taking a lot of turns gameplay, check that out. Look at that, we got 20 gems. I wish it would show you like what it was gonna give you, just to like rub it in. But yeah, I mean, a thousand gold, 20 gems. We had a shot at getting a rare we might need. But yeah, that's it for this one. Um, I still think this deck is really powerful. I think it's like unreal good, and I can only, ima I can only imagine how much better it would be if we had a reasonable idea of how best to sideboard. Like these cards should not be here. Bane fire is just not worth bringing in. Um, I could see an argument for cutting one main deck nexus. You might even want a fourth root snare in the sideboard for matchups like that just to help you dig out. We were definitely like one root snare away from stabilizing. Like imagine if we could have taken the Wilderness Reclamation instead of having to dig for root snares. I don't dislike the Uncomfortable Chills main. At least you can cycle them in dead matchups and they're randomly good. They, they were a lot less good against the Ajani's Pride mate, but I don't think that that's like the build you should be expecting. Other than that, like what would be good in the sideboard here? There's a green creature that you can kick to gain life, but it's pretty expensive. Like, if you're kicking that, you're probably winning the game already in some other fashion. You know, maybe this deck should have Blinks. Blink is actually a pretty reasonable card post Wilderness Reclamation because you can kick it. Like, play Wilderness Reclamation, then kick it, and it's kind of like a fog. I mean, maybe you could cut like one search and one Nexus for two Blinks. Give you a little more velocity in the deck, a little more interaction. Um, it's also a way to get things out from under like an Ixalan's Binding or a Conclave Tribunal, which the deck doesn't really have any answers to. So it could add some versatility there. Still doesn't help us figure out what to go up in the sideboard. Um, yeah, I'm just like thinking of cards that we would want. I don't think we want anything too expensive. I mean, there might be a case where against decks like that, we want to side in Crassus. Ramp into Crassus. Shave down to like two Nexus. There might also be a case where we want like two Crassus main. Hmm. So like move blank. But we're not going to bring in eight cards, right? I don't know. Very hard to say exactly what we need to do. Search is so good. I don't know if we can cut one, to be honest. But maybe we can cut like a precog and a nexus or two blinks. I don't know if we need all four nexuses. All right. Well, let's let's look at it. Let's let's save this, and then we can try this another time. Um, probably on stream. I don't know if I'll record another video with it, but all right, we've already rambled long enough. So post, you know, post your thoughts if you have any ideas on sideboarding. It's not my strong suit, and I haven't really seen any like writing on this type of deck yet. I've just seen deck lists, so any ideas are welcome. And that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and comment. All that stuff. Check out uh, the Twitch stream. You know, give it a follow so you know when we go live. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for another deck tomorrow. Later.